high stylish elegant exterior, luxuriously equipped cabin, powerful and polished powertrain range. Lowest six-figure starting price, plug-in hybrid only offered in basic trim, comfortable third-row headroom. Verdict friendly, sophisticated and sympathetic, the Range Rover 2023 is everything a flagship luxury SUV should have. What attracts the global elite to the Range Rover is not the SUV's legendary off-road capabilities, but rather the effortless elegant style, luxurious cabin and a list status developed over the years. The list of Range Rover owners even includes Her Majesty the Queen. One couldn't ask for a better brand ambassador. The 2023 model represents the most luxurious Range Rover. The trio of powertrain options, including the hybrid, produce huge power. The brand's largest SUV is able to pass through traffic gracefully, with a smooth ride and quiet interior. Exploring off-road is of course an option for Range Rover owners. All-wheel drive is standard and air suspension can be raised to provide extra ground clearance, although we know that few would actually dare take this rolling piece of art an insult. The Range Rover starts at just over $100,000, which means it's more expensive than rivals like the Cadillac Escalade, Jeep Grand Wagoneer, and Mercedes-Benz GLS class. So that, Range's reputation, presence, and royal backing all help justify its premium price tag. What's new in 2023? The revamped Range Rover technically debuted for the 2022 model year, but it's confusingly sold alongside the previous generation model, and not all variants are available. For 2023, the old model no longer exists. For 2023, the plug-in hybrid P440e powertrain joins the lineup, and Land Rover says this setup will provide up to 48 miles of electric-only driving range. It is available exclusively on the short wheelbase SE trim. We recommend opting for the mid-range autobiography model, which adds some sought-after items that luxury buyers will appreciate. For example, Autobiography comes standard with a 1600-watt Meridian stereo system featuring headrest-mounted speakers and active noise cancellation. The Range Rover will be offered in short and long wheelbase body styles, and we recommend choosing the latter as it creates space for the third-row seats and provides a wider cargo area. Engine, transmission and performance The Range Rover is available with a trio of powertrains, starting with the turbocharged inline 6 with a 48-volt hybrid system dubbed the P400 developing 395 horsepower. During our initial test drive, it proved to be smooth and provided enough oomph to tow a large Range Rover. The 523 HP twin turbo 4.4-liter V8 engine, Land Rover calls the P530, is even more powerful and increases the Range Rover's towing capacity to 8,200 pounds. A 434 HP plug-in hybrid option, called the P440e, is also available but only in the short wheelbase SE trim. The Range Rover's ride is extravagant and, with its adjustable air suspension set to comfort mode, it almost floats on the road. Turning the dial to dynamic mode amplifies a few things, but the big Rover still aims for the mission that puts comfort first. When we get a chance to use the Range Rover on our test track, we'll update this story with test results. Range, charge, and battery life The EPA hasn't released an official range estimate for the plug-in hybrid P440e, but Land Rover says the system's 31.8 kWh battery pack should provide about 48 miles of electric-only driving range. The P440e is capable of fast DC charging or can be charged with a home charger. Fuel economy and real-world MPG The most fuel-efficient Range Rover is likely to be the plug-in hybrid P440e, but the EPA has yet to estimate fuel economy figures for that model. The entry-level P400 is rated for 18 MPG city and 26 MPG highway while the V8-powered P530 has earned an estimated 16 MPG city and 21 MPG highway. When we have the chance, we will test the Range Rover on our 75 miles per hour highway fuel economy route and update this story with details. For more information on Range Rover fuel economy, 